So I made the executive decision to uh, go ahead and turn this on. I mean, like, I'm gonna not have enough to uh, get the last piece, which is, uh, you know, on the road. But, uh, you know, I went a long time on those roads without any problems, so. Uh, who knows how often I'll get to, I guess, uh, we cut off last week, so. I think I'm going. I guess they're waiting. Um. It'd probably be the slowest you'll ever see me ride through here. <laughs> I don't know, maybe but my other bike. Um. Just uh, enjoying my banana shake, or not banana, peanut butter shake, and some tunes. So, uh, might seem like a big corporate, uh, you know, DQ. Not something I should support or whatever, but uh, DQ is actually headquartered uh, in a Dyna, which is uh, almost where I was. I was on 50th, 50th in France is like a big well-known area here. I don't know if I passed France. I think I did, but... Um, St. Paul's just over there. Bob and Ginny used to live over there. Um, across that bridge. Well, I mean, a couple miles past that bridge. Not so far. We would meet them over there. It was, pretty, it was kind of close. I'm gonna end up dropping this. <laughs> oh well. So, learning experience today. Well, I already mentioned the Burger King. I hadn't known until today there was a Burger King there. Because I'd never gone to that bridge. I always biked out, I'd always gone south to like Egan. No, it's going that direction. enjoy this music quite as much if I was pedaling as hard as I could, so. I'm feeling the breakdown. I'm not as big into metalcore as I used to be, but uh, yeah, deathcore, uh, I was big into that. Probably was more in the metal core than death core. There's definitely like death core though. Um, <clears throat> um, the like kill switch engage before they kind of got all emo y. Um, I actually picked uh, Alive or Just Breathing as one of my top 10 most influential albums. Um, 
check out my Facebook if you're interested in the whole list. Although, I should be able to reproduce the list. Um, no doubt, Tragic Kingdom. I don't really know if it's most influential. It was definitely like, no doubt, was a big part of the late 90s for me. Uh, early 2000s. I do quite, I did quite like Sky in general. Like, and yeah, I mean, not, no doubt, not that it's really a Sky man, but they, they're kind of part of that. John Franklin, the Black Sonic uh, owners, he did 31 on the album challenge. So, This was like a billion calories. I guess I wasn't, didn't have a camera on. It was like the large was like four million calories. No, I think it was like over a thousand calories. It cost me some time, but probably cheaper than, uh, well, it was free because I had a gift card, but. And yeah, it's like how often do I go to Dairy Queen's? Uh, coming down there is a it's a good time to use the card. I'm not sure if I said this. No idea about the Impossible Burger and Burger King. Uh, almost done with this <laughs> which means I can uh, really start to crank this out normal mode seven miles Supposed to be seven and a half down there, so I mean, in theory that should be enough. I think now that I've eaten, I definitely have enough in the legs. Um, to uh, not need the train. All right. There are some places up here where there's like recycling and uh, trash. Uh, straw probably needs to go in the trash. Uh, damn, that was good. Uh, there's one back there. There's one that's like right on the trail, but I don't know if, we'll, if I'm past that already. But, uh, we'll see. I'm not having, oh no, <laughs> now that I'm going downhill, it shot me up to 11. Uh, I wonder if Nick's gonna get 44 out of this next week. Oh no, because Nick needs to get more than 44. Here we go. 
So Nick will need to get 59 out of this next week. Um, I don't know, man. Depends on how warm it's gonna be. Uh, he's gonna have it in echo most of the time, I guess. We'll see. Who knows if John and Nick are actually gonna do it. Um, I'll probably, I guess I'll go the whole way. If, uh, yeah, Wendy's not gonna be happy with me if I do that, but, uh, the ride will be about like today, I guess, if, uh, by myself, if I just went up with there with Kevin, 22 plus seven and a half. Well, I mean, it'll be a little further because I have the seven and a half twice. It starts basically at the Dairy Queen. Um, so, this is a stretch that I am quite familiar with. Uh, so, got eight miles. I might be able to crank this out. I feel like the temperature is starting to drop. We open our Ooh, but that may just be because I had a milk chip. <laughs> Wendy's talking about cutting out dairy, which I'd be happy to do. I guess I could have, they have a smooth, like, uh, oh, there. If they have yogurt in them, I guess they're not dairy free. We might just cut it out at home. Hey, hi, hello. Welcome back to Open Metal Cast, bringing you the best. All right. So I mentioned on the last video, my name is Craig. Morley, that Craig the will do the. Uh, Hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'll go through the list of songs that we played in this episode. First yeah. Up, that was Hex Two, Foundation Pioneer by Venom. Hopefully you can hear it. Before that, Be a Man by Asgard from At the Break of the Day. Throw Them Awaits by Envig from War Machine. Suffocate the Earth with the Wizard Cape of Negativity oh, by yeah. We'll Grab a Wizard from the album Negative Wizard Metal. Root Waltz by KDC from The Racity of Solitude. Sparrow by Fantastic Brenfurs from Quebec. Heathens by Beastmaker from the album Beastmaker. Nightmares by Seal and the Left from their self-titled album. In Hole Alone is Good and Elsewhere Nowhere by Eskatos from the album The Grand Noir. Starting off the show from the kettle onto the coil by Death Heaven. 3,000 from calories. I'd like to thank you so much for checking out this episode of Open Metal Cast and remind you of the bands of the show. Not on the ride, in the day. Buy a t-shirt, buy an album, or play their song with nine other. Whatever it takes, let them know that you care and that you heard it here on OpenMetalCast.com where you can also check out every episode, back to episode number one, as well as instrumental casts, club metal casts, interviews with bands, and much, much more. That's at OpenMetalCast.com. Man, come on. Also be sure to check us out over at MetalInjection.com where you can hear this and other great podcasts. It looks like well I will be... Bands, music, news, videos, and much, much more. Probably. That's at metalinjection.net. And be sure to check out their streaming service over at metalinjection.fm, where you can hear musical selections by myself as well as the other Metal Injection crew. Check out the schedule and learn more over at metalinjection.fm. Thanks so much for listening. And if you have any suggestions for any bands like to hear on the show, send them my way because I love your hero. We're at Craig at Three miles. I'm just gonna turn this off. Boy, I have it for the <laughs> the hill. 
I don't want to climb the hill up here without uh without it. So. Until five, so 